Hi, I'm Tatiana. Welcome to 10 Minute Tasks. In today's video, I'm going to show you how I clean a toilet. So what you'll need are some gloves. Don't be weird about this. I get some comments about the gloves thing, but okay. And Sal says biodegradable cleaner. I think this is the best. And I um, put a little bit in water and hydrogen peroxide and I make an all purpose cleaner. So I have this bottle. I think this bottle is the best. I will leave a link in the description box below. It's just a nice, easy spray. Um, don't drop them though, they will break. And I have a drywall screen. You can find drywall screen on Amazon, but you can also find it at a hardware store. This one, um, actually I had a house cleaning business and one of my employees showed me this. And ever since then, it's been the best way to get those rings out of the toilet. You know, the, those stains that just don't come out, this will get it out. It's amazing. Only use it on ceramic. Do not use it on any sort of plastic because it will scratch. Okay, and then I have just three rags here. You're not gonna need any more than this. The other tool I forgot to mention is a toothbrush. Don't use your toothbrush. <laughs> use a toothbrush that you've already used. You don't wanna use it anymore and you can reuse it for your cleaning kit. When you are cleaning with the rags, this is a tip, you always want to fold the rag. I see multiple cleaning videos and all of them are doing this with the rag. If you fold it, you can use each of the sides. So you can use this side, this side, you can fold it over, you can use this side, this side. So technically you can use eight sides of the rag. This helps you with using less, so you have to do less laundry and you have your rags for longer. It's just a lot of benefits to it. So I hope that you can take on that little tip. And if you are curious about what type of rag this is, this is actually a diaper. <laughs> I know that's funny it's a cloth diaper you guys these things are amazing they're super thick they're made with organic cotton which means that not only is it sustainable but organic cotton holds really well in the washer and dryer this will last me so long I actually bought it a year ago and it doesn't have any rips it's amazing so if you want to try so take your rag that you folded and spray your rag just a few times and then you'll start from the top and work your way down and work our way to the left and then we're going to use the other side which is a dry side to buff it dry clean underneath the shelf and then we're going to use the other side of the rag and dry it we're going to fold this over and use this side for the cleaner. So one, two, three, and this is the dry side. So with the wet side, we're going to clean the top of the toilet right here. And then we're going to use the dry side and buff it dry. Okay. Now we have this side. We're going to flip over right here. So we're using this clean side. Spraying it a few times, and we're gonna start from this side of the toilet and go up and down, up and down, okay, and get the handle and go down, okay? And then we're going to use the dry side, go up and down, up and down, and get the handle there. Now, some people are pretty particular about that handle and that's okay you can use this and just wipe it and then use the other dry side to dry it buff it dry make it look really nice and shiny here's a close-up of how shiny that is okay this is a part that a lot of cleaners miss they don't clean the sides of the toilet and I see it everywhere I go yep that's me and then you're just going to clean from left to right top and then just go all the way to the bottom okay, another part that house cleaners miss is this area right here you can take this thing off 
or you can just clean it with the toothbrush around the area. Put your finger underneath here to get more of a, a grip and you can clean this and get all of that hair that sometimes gathers there. A lot of uh, boys, they pee on this area. I have no idea how that happens, but it does. We always start with the top, so we're gonna do this side before we do the seat. And start by cleaning this and buff it dry. Okay, now we're moving on to the top of the toilet seat and I'm going to grab a new rag. Spray a few times and I'm going to wipe the seat and buff it dry. Okay, and if you feel like that's not clean enough, just go ahead and fold your rag, spray a few times and repeat the process. So you're going to wipe it to buff it dry. Okay, now you're going to lift this part up, grab the bottle, spray a few times, and to clean it once. Sometimes these grooves right here are difficult to clean, so you can use the toothbrush. You can also use your finger underneath the rag like this and get a little more detail of a cleaning with those areas. So now we're going to use the dry side to buff it dry. And you can also buff those grooves here. Now this rim here usually gets dirty after we clean the inside of the toilet. Put a little bit of the south sides and it's really only a drop that you need, one drop. And then you're going to use the drywall screen and start inside, this is why you use gloves, and you're going to clean the rims inside. You're going to clean all of those stains. You see this part right here? A lot of people don't clean that. That is just where all of the bacteria and mold settles. So, and then you can clean the walls of this. Use the water inside the toilet. Okay, I know you may think this is gross because I'm putting my hand in here, but that's why you wear gloves. And if you feel gross after that, you can wash your hands afterwards. Like I said before, you can use this only on ceramic, not on the plastic, okay? Because it'll scratch. Okay, we're gonna spray three times. Clean this down, clean that. Okay, then we're gonna use the dry side. Now you can look from side to side and make sure that's clean. You can do it, do it again if you need to, but to me, that looks clean. So I'm going to flush the toilet. So I'm gonna put this toilet seat down. Um, you can lift these things up and you can clean in here. Let me give you a close up. So I just lifted these things up and then I can use the toothbrush to get in there. Just wanna spray a little bit in there and get all in there. Put your finger underneath the rag like this and then you have a better tool for cleaning in between those tough to reach areas. So you're just gonna clean as much as possible of this area. Then you're going to use the dry side. Yep, we're gonna buff it too. So you're gonna put your finger underneath that buff side and buff it dry. I'm going to spray it a couple of times and want to clean the top of the toilet. Okay, then we're going to use the dry side. 